Let's start with the set of books. It's the art of an assortment of books. I was supposed to buy only one, but I got carried away and I ended up buying six. And I have no regrets. First is The Art of Monsters University by Disney and Pixar. When I saw the cover, I thought this would include illustrations by Dice to Chew Me. I am a fan of his work because of how he uses light, color, and shadow on his illustrations that adds emotions and character to the story. I bought these books mainly for inspiration on how to create characters because on each of this book, they would tell you the stories behind the characters, their personalities, their nuances, and how these personalities translate into the illustrated character that we now know in the movies. I'm so happy that I got this book at less than half or a third of their original prices. Next is The Art of Cars 3 by Disney and Pixar. Mostly these are illustrations of cars, obviously. But again, I am more into the backstory of each characters. The sketches and the background paintings and how they came up with the light, shadow, the scenes, the colors and all the behind the scenes in creating a movie. Next is The Art of the Box Trolls by Leica Studios. I'm familiar with their work because of Coraline, but I haven't seen this movie yet. It's interesting to learn on how they started with illustrations, drafts, sketches, storyboards, and then creating this world of stop-motion animation. And as I have mentioned, I bought these books mainly for character study. All of the art of books would show you the backstory, the personality, attitudes of different characters, as well as these amazing background paintings. Next is The Art of Home by DreamWorks. These are mostly space-themed illustrations. Look at this background painting. And all the character sketches. I just love seeing those um, sketches that are the basis for the final character. Next is The Art of Penguins of Madagascar again by DreamWorks and the other one is The Art of the Boss Baby by again DreamWorks. Let's just do a quick flip through of both. Again quite similar from the other, the art of books. These has the story of the characters, the background paintings, thumbnails of the scenes, and the stories behind the color that they use, the lighting. And look at all those dappled lights all the sketches of the characters.
again the prices from the book sale is almost a fourth of the original prices when you buy them from the bookshops it was such an amazing deal i mean i would have gotten more if they were still available these are great books for inspiration when i'm stuck with creating characters or when I need inspiration for background paintings or when I need to just learn how to not just illustrate because of illustrating but to illustrate to create a story I mean there's nothing wrong with illustrating for the sake of illustrating but I've always done that but I need to learn how to illustrate with emotions, with character, and with stories. And I think these books will help. That's it with my favorite set of books that I got from the Big Bad Wolf book sale here in Dubai. Next stack is a book about letters and one biography. An A to Z book for adults. E is for emo, N is for nonsense, V for vanity. S for simple, P for physical, K for kinetic. It's an interesting book. Next is a biography. It's The Art of Neil Gaiman. It's one of those books that I am most excited to read. I would love to learn the background on why he wrote his novels. And this one is, I think, illustrated by Chris Riddell, one of my favorite illustrators as well. They have collaborated a lot with, with Neil, Gaiman's, Neil Gaiman's book. Next is Buy the Book by the New York Times Book Review. It's a, an interview with different authors and writers with questions like what's the best book by an actor you've ever read? Have you ever written to an author? Did he or she write back? Who are your favorite writers of all time and among your contemporaries? It's interesting to know the answers to these questions by some of the most well-known writers and authors. Next is more letters of note, correspondence deserving of a wider audience. These are a collection of letters from famous people and organizations like the MoMA, Eleanor Roosevelt, and then we have J.K. Rowling, Disney, Beatrix Potter, Mozart, mm, we also have We also have the New York Symphony, Carnegie Hall, Thomas Edison, even Albert Einstein. So these are some of the interesting letters that they have sent to another person which are very interesting to read. 
Next is a collection of artists, the new artisans. It shows the different um, products or creative, creative endeavors from different countries, from different people. From woodwork, to clays, to glass blowing, pottery, screen printing, um, illustrations, and a lot more. Next is be an artist in 10 steps, although I don't think it only takes 10 steps to be an artist, but I got this book mainly because it has instructions, step-by-step -step instructions on watercolor, acrylic, um, pastels, and oils, and pencils. That's it for this stack of books letters, correspondence, and a biography, plus a collection of artisans and how to be an artist. This next stack is all about picture books. A favorite stack. First is we have the living maps. This is quite a humorous take on illustrating cities or maps. It's an atlas of cities personified. There's Dubai, a city of visitors, and then there's Los Angeles, the city as phantom, there's Moscow, the, the city out of reach, and then Amsterdam, the ever-expanding city. Um, Monaco, the city as views, Lagos, the movable city, Mumbai, the city as a big fish eating the little fish. So there's a bit of a humor in each of the illustrations and it's quite a fun book to read. Next is a set of Kandim Lake picture books. If you have been watching my previous videos, you might have already know that I am a fan of Quentin Lake and I collect his picture books. So I'm so happy that I got three from, from this year's book sale. I love all the squiggly lines combined with the softness of watercolor. It's not as rigid as, let's say, the more um, clean and sharp edges of digital illustrations of some digital illustrations not all Ruby's Chinese New Year. I wasn't intending to buy this book, but I saw this in several of the tables in the book sale, and I always looked at it because of the joyful characters on the cover. So I decided to buy it, and I, I'm loving the, the full spread illustration on most of the pages, and the colors are vibrant and joyful. Next is the Earth Verse Explore Our Planet Through Poetry and Art. I love the illustrations on this book. I'm not really sure if he or she used colored pencils. It looks like color pencil. I love the textures of color pencil. And I also love that the illustrator used a limited color palette. Next is another limited color palette picture book, An Apple and an Adventure. I think this is a lithograph, if I'm not mistaken. 
or is it just colored pencil? I'm not really sure, but I love the limited color palette and the illustrations. Next is another book by Kenton Blake, Moonlight Travelers. I think this is mostly ink and line work. Next is Peapod Lullaby. Yes, I'm biased with watercolor and ink. So that's the reason why I bought this book. When I browsed through the illustrations, I immediately fell in love with the combination of watercolor and ink. And the story is beautiful as well. Next is Alpha. Finally, I have a book by Isabel Arsenault. I'm a huge fan of Isabel Arsenault and funny enough, I don't have any books from her. So this is the first book that I own from Isabel Arsenault. It's an A to Z book of the NATO phonetic alphabet or more accurately, the International Radio Telephony Spelling Alphabet. Next is a favorite book. It's the 200th anniversary edition of The Nutcracker. When I first saw this, I thought the illustrations, the illustration was only on the cover, but when I opened it and found that it was filled with these beautiful illustrations, then I just have to have it. Although this is not the type of illustrations or art style that I would want to have in my own illustrations. I just find these illustrations beautiful with all the pencil textures and the not so vibrant colors but there's a warmth and old feel feeling about these illustrations that I like. Next is also one of my favorite finds. It's a classic, it's a secret garden, and it's mostly, I think, watercolor combined with gouache, which is what I want for my art style or what I would want to incorporate in my illustrations. I love the full pages, full page paintings on this illustrated book. And all the autumn colors that comes with it. And that's it for this picture book stack. It's quite a lot but it's as I've said before it's almost a third of the original prices when you buy them in online in an online bookstore or in a bookshop. Next is a stack of artists and this New York illustrated book. It's a combination of sketches, lettering, um, graphic design, fashion, um, cafes, hotels, and all about New York. Next are the set of books of different artists. First is we have Leonardo da Vinci. It's not an it's not a full illustrated book. It has history, photos of their work, um, background story of each of their artworks. Next is Andy Warhol. Next is one of my favorite painters, Monet. Next is Caravaggio. I'm not really familiar with this artist, but um, I wanted to have the full set, so 
I also got this, which I'm also excited to learn who he is. And then, of course, we have Dolly. And another artist I'm not familiar with, it's Marguerite. Looking forward to learning all his artworks as well. That's it for this tag. Next is graphic novels and comics. First one is, I'm almost done reading, reading this. It's Disney's Winnie the Pooh. It's based off the movie from Disney. Next is Peanuts by Charles Schultz, one of my favorite illustrators. He's a great storyteller. Next is a graphic novel or an illustrated book about Steve Jobs. Next is a graphic novel of The Little Prince. I'm not really sure if this is the same story as the original story, but I'm going to read this and get back to you on that. Next is Love Months Comics. And that's it for the graphic novels and comics. Next is an assortment of novels and books. We have Sophie's World. I already had a copy of this, but I wanted another one for here. And then we have Seth Godin, It's Always Personal, Mitch, Mitch Album, Peter Drucker, Myths of, Myths of Work, The Right Kind of Crazy. And then we also have why are we bad at picking good leaders the red rubber ball at work the prince don't sweat the small stuff run with the wolves what's so great about the eiffel tower 70 questions the cartoonist bible and illuminate so those are the assortment of novels and books and we also have this pictographic systems and what matters book and I think that's about it for the books that I got from The Big Bad Wolf 2022.